rushing typhoon. Oh, not terrible. Okay. Get to the three. It's easy. Yeah, we're having an easier time with that. That's for sure. That's true. The problem is the final guy. He's a little cheap. <laughs> Just a little cheap. Because uh, he's way too fast on his recovery. If they gave me a little bit more time to attack, like literally like half a second, I could do so much more to him. Because I don't get that half a second, I have to spend a lot of my time running away. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about too? Remember I said I'd regret it? I should have got the poison mushroom. I should have went poison. Oh god. I didn't even walk into the room yet, dude. Had I had that poison mushroom, I could have just dodged, kept spamming R, and let the poison in the fire to do all the work. But because I didn't have the poison mushroom, I was trying to get a few more hits to do more damage. Because the R was just not doing a crazy amount of damage to him. Oh, yeah, we want that. Increase my crit. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either of those. This is actually kind of good. Uh, when I'm about to die? I mean, it's not really amazing, but it's decent. When I'm about to die, it'll give me a charge for my Q. So my Q will be filled up immediately so I can get one last super attack. So it's actually kind of decent. Sometimes it's like, you or him right at the last moment. And having a boosted Q is kind of nice. Uh, we want to go down now. Oh, I shot that off too soon. Try that double trouble. <laughs> double damage, but receive double damage. That could be good. It could also be very damaging. Um, boots of frenzy or ancient fountain. What do you guys think? Because I have no clue between the two of them. I'll let you guys decide this because I have no freaking clue. But either of those do. I don't think Frenzy has anything to do with movement. I doubt it. Hmm. It's... Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Back the heck out of my mic right there. I'm thinking that the Frenzy might do something with my basic attack. Just assuming. Getting enemies grant a chance to temporarily add unlimited charges to your movement art. Okay, that might not be terrible. 
Doesn't really sound that great, but could be good. Damage is actually really good, better than it should be because of that double toil, <laughs> a double trouble. Our damage should not be this good. <laughs> We're doing double damage, which is kind of scary once we start getting items that increase our damage even further. Ah, uh, wallet of vigor. Very interested in that. I'm feeling the plague sprite. Basically, she'll go around shooting people with poison every now and then. Oh, okay, it's going really bad right there. Really bad. Oh, uh, go this way. Hmm. Okay. That blue guy is resistant to fire drill, and we should wreck him that easily. This is probably the greatest damage increase I've ever seen. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Anything we wanted here? Oh, we wanted the sprite. Yeah, that poison. <laughs> That's gonna be good for the final boss. do need another attack. I don't think we're going to be able to afford any of this stuff. So we're probably better off just buffing our right click. 
Hmm. To be honest, our damage might still be fine. Even with just these abilities. Like, kinda crazy how much damage we're putting out. Oh, uh, hmm. Alchemist stone. That would be really good. <laughs> That'd be really good for helping us get more gold. I'm kind of leaning towards Ball Lightning right now, just so we have another attack. But, our damage is pretty good. Ball Lightning's not an amazing attack. Do we pass on that and get this? Because this is going to stay with us till the end. I think I'm going to do that. I think our damage is fine. I think we'll still wreck her. Just need to practice dodging. Yep. That is absolutely true. <laughs> I won't deny that you're right. <laughs> Evading Zephyr. Oh! This makes me untouchable. <laughs> that makes me untouchable. Like, that's like an O-ish save me button. <laughs> now here's the thing. I can still activate stuff? Interesting. So like, oh wait, what? I thought you can't hit me. Oh, while I'm moving. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. So if I stand still, I'll get hit. Basically, like, you can't hurt me. <laughs> Our basic attack is doing 24 damage with each ball? Oh my god. I didn't realize our damage increased that much. <laughs> Holy cow. Our damage is insane. I'm gonna be honest with you, if we can't do it this time, I'm gonna be very surprised. <laughs> Cause our damage is crazy. We just need good uh spell for fighting him. But for the most part, we got the damage.
Oh, uh, this is actually pretty good. Now I have two. I believe, right? Before and after, so that gives me double the decoy. The flame war could be interesting, but I don't know, man. I don't know how helpful that's going to be against this chick. And against the final guy. Okay, not cool. Jeez, okay. Took way too much damage there. Oh, fuzzy hand warmers, fortune cookie. What was the scarf again? Uh, we got that last time. Shoot, what was it? Oh, it was that if we get hit, it doesn't cancel out our attack. I don't know what the fortune cookie is, but I'm kind of tempted. This sucks, I've had that before. Uh, oh wait, that's a different rope. It's a completely different rope than what I was thinking. Reduce damage received to a maximum 10% of max health. Wait, did I just cancel this out? So 10% of 500 is 50. That means they can't do more than 50 damage. Oh, uh, fortune cookie? This is bad. <laughs> I don't know, right? Randomly empowers an encounter at the beginning of each stage. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Empowering means that, for example, well, all my abilities are enhanced except for this, so I guess it's gonna enhance that. See how it's not enhanced, but it shows up as enhanced? Blue border means that it's enhanced. That's what that does. Fine. Got this. I couldn't move. Hold on. Hold on. I couldn't move even though I had my thing up. Does that make any sense? That's alright. Uh, absorption coil. Interesting. What's that? Uh... I kind of like that double coil. I want to do that again, but this time play a little bit more carefully. There it is. Gain signature charge when taking damage. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't want it. As man. <laughs> um That's good. That's bad. Alright, we'll be back.
These flames are really annoying. texting me. Uh, come on. Uh, you know another thing we also gotta work on? Being able to change our aim mid-attack. Oh, come on. Ha Not cool. I think those piss me off more than I <laughs> when I fall in the hole because I did a bad dodge. It's like I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> We need something soon. Another spell, damage, something. Okay. I think we're definitely gonna get that this time. It's not gonna really help us out a lot clearing dungeons, I don't think. But it should help us against the final boss, dude. That's so annoying. Oh, <laughs> I walked right into it. That cool. Oh, come on. That was actually kind of close. He almost landed a hit on me. Uh, get that poison.
Oh, Earth Agent. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna go and stomp people. I feel like this longer. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, that I'm moving slow? Yeah, we don't have as much damage as we had before. We were definitely clearing a hundred times faster before. like the dungeon is is bigger oh uh, cuz it could be bigger hmm. let's go down from now oh okay oof do we double stack the poison that's tempting all these items are new i have no clue i have no clue and i have no clue the only one I know for certain is the fairy. So preemptively, I think I'm just gonna get the fairy. Let's double stack that poison. <laughs> one way or another, he's taking poison damage. That damn jerk, he got one hit on me. Dragon Arc. That's something. Uh... That just feels long because we had all these powers and reached the final boss. Yeah, we got there really quick. <laughs> we had a lot of boosted up damage, though. A lot of boosted damage. Made it so much easier. Alright. We'll get there, though. That agent is hilarious. <laughs> he just jumps around freaking hitting people. Oh, shoot. Okay.
Got him, Agent. <laughs> oh, God. That suck. That's kind of a troll place to put that. Just saying. Of all the places that guy could have spawned, he spawns there. Um. What did they have here? I don't think they have anything I want. No, they don't have anything I want. Um. Hyperbolic train, cushion flip flops, autograph pad. I don't know. Autograph pad, just based on the name, I'm gonna take a guess and say that it has something to do with my signature. Oops, sorry, hit my mic again. Cushion flip flops, I have no clue. Hyperbolic train, I have no clue. Decisions, guys. What do you think? I'll take any of these three. One, two, or three. Hmm. Kind of very curious about the train. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I go with the train? Should I try one of these two? I'm gonna go train. Ah, oh, that's not that great. Uh, what are you again? Are you the card guy? All right, it's fine though. slow on the cast. That cast would have saved me. Uh, we got enough for one more item that we can try. Just this one. Damage and movement speed increase while signature arcana is charged. Oh, uh, I mean, okay. I'm not that great. To be honest, it's two items that are kind of me. Me. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, we got two meh items. Not a, not exactly the best of start. Greedy. It's alright though. I thought I had signature up. I got so freaking greedy. Uh, not terrible, but it's not amazing. We got some meh abilities, meh 
relics. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's actually switch those off. I'm just curious what kind of damage that thing's putting out. That was good. Yeah, but it was the first boss. First boss is a joke. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, but we've gotten so used to it at this point that the first boss is kind of a joke. God damn it, missed that dodge. I don't really want to get Dragon Arc, but I'm almost tempted to just because our our current abilities kind of suck. <laughs> We're gonna hold off though. I'll say in tight spaces these things are useful. God, I hate that move. So my little lightning can blocks projectiles. However, that thing he does throws it over the projectile. So it doesn't block that. That's why he keeps landing that on me. God. There. You guys just have to teleport behind me, don't you? Hey, Squiddy. How's it going? Whoa, 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 what is happening? Oh my god, I know what just happened. I got hit by my own attack. Their shields reflect projectiles. I didn't think they could reflect that, though, because that travels through people. Wow, I just killed myself. Oh, oh that's okay. That was kind of not a good run. We were getting pretty bad drops on everything. Wow, this is all new. Uh, Alvin Ears. Berserker Axe. Let's see what those do. Crit. 
increased damage dealt for a short while after taking it. That could be pretty good. Keep that in mind. And the ears? Remain motionless for a short time causes you to disappear from sight and lowers the cooldown of your next Arcana. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm rethinking the tracer thing. It's not that it's terrible, it's just... It feels slow. Hmm... I need something quick. This was quick. But the damage just wasn't there. Mm hmm. Is this what I think it is? No. Okay. What's the damage output on this? Not amazing. It has a long cooldown. Holy cow. Uh. Yeah, Wind seems to have the fastest cooldown. Just single targety. Either that or. Has a long cooldown too, right? Five seconds. It's quick, man. Three second cooldown? That's so quick. That's pretty quick too. That's even faster, to be honest, but it's single target. Whirling tornado. Uh I think I'm gonna have to do the wind thing just so like we have that at same attack speed. That attack speed was just amazing. Hmm. This could be good. What is the enhanced version of this? Destroys all enemy projectiles. This could be good. Um, what's the damage on the boomerang? Kind of debatable which one's better. We're gonna try that. We're gonna give that a shot. The boomerang might be much better though. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on. Okay. That we might have something here. It's actually very powerful. Compared to the boomerang. Not by a huge amount, but it is. Thanks for the follow, uh, Squiddy. Come catch me out, Tavern. Thanks, man. 
Hope you're enjoying it. Oh, no, you don't. This is actually really good. Oh man, do I get that now? I think I should. Dagger of Midas, that's new. Kinda curious, because like everything with Midas involves gold. So maybe this will help us get gold so that we could also set up for the future as well as get that. Yeah? I definitely want that. So here's what that does. I, rem I remember to, re to remember that one. Because uh, we actually do have it in our chest. That increases your armor based on how many relic items you have in your inventory. So end game, that's probably the best armor item you can get. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Midas thing. Never got this before. Let's see what it does. Increase damage based on how much gold you currently have. That could actually be good. Uh, you know what? If we could find the Cursed Philosopher's Stone, we could probably amass a pretty ridiculous amount of gold and get really beefy. That was nice. Okay. Easy. get that jacket. I really hope we can get save up enough. Ooh, this is pretty decent. That's pretty good too. These are all pretty good except for this one. Um, we're not going to be able to buy those though. 200 gold? There's no way we're going to be able to get that much. We got 70%? Mm -mm. So we'll just get the jacket. That's fine. The jacket will, will already do something for us. We'll have three relic items at that point. Almost there. Probably like 20 gold, I'd say. And we can get that jacket. Get our stylish North Face jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that knockback is pretty nice, actually. Another thing I like about uh, this queue that we picked. Mm-hmm. Blossom, please. 
Nope, no philosopher's stone. All right, dude, man. All right, I know what that does. We're not doing that. I know what that does. That's not happening. Um, did we try the tortoise shell? It's the only one I've never tried. Increases <laughs> armor, but decreases damage. Oh, oh. That's not cool. That's so bad. Oh, well, we're gonna be super tanky, I guess. Oh, well, I need the other three more gold. Come back to that. It decreased it by very little, I'll be honest with you. Not as bad as I thought it was. Still doing decent damage. Compared to before. Could our damage be better though? Yeah, absolutely. But it's not terrible. Got tons of armor now. <laughs> That's four relic items. We're gonna tank this. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever tried that strategy. <laughs> Merchant cart. This gave me damage for every item I have. Right? This was the opposite of the jacket. We gotta get that. I also want to get that. But I think that merchant's cart is the best thing for us right now. Especially endgame. Uh, and also to counteract what we just picked up. Oh god! Wait, how come their shields didn't work that time? That scared me a lot. I thought I was gonna kill myself again. <laughs> their shields didn't reflect my thunderballs that time. Weird. That's your BP. Then the fact that we're probably hitting like little girls. Yeah, our damage is actually suffering a good amount. We're probably not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have the damage for this. Let's see. Not even close. Oh my god. Not even close. We'll come back after we get that item. Mm-hmm. 150. area here we didn't check out.
Okay. I didn't even see him. Oh my god. Whew. He almost got a really good sneak attack on me there. Give me a target. Aww. Oh. Hmm. Get our damage. Right? Three damage based on number of relics in inventory. Sweet. Uh. Let's try this bad boy now. Ah, so close. So close. I only had one or two. Alright, wait till we have two. Then we'll blast them. Hmm. I don't think we have enough damage. I don't have enough damage. Yeah. Oh well. Can't do nothing about that, right? Mm-hmm. 